This is the plaintiff, Quinesha Simmons. She says her car was repossessed by the defendant and the thief stole 900 bucks in cash out of her glove box. They also held her car hostage for five days. She was forced to miss work and is suing this terrible person for the $5,000. She says she's now owed. This is the defendant, Daryl. He says he always takes a full inventory of personal belongings in the cars he repossesses. And there was no, he repeats, no $900 cash in the plaintiff's car. She and her rude boyfriend called the cops on him. They left without writing up a report because there was no theft. And this woman is barking up the wrong tree if she thinks she's going to make him pay her five grand. He's accused of being sticky-fingered. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $175 for a property fee. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock of the plaintiff says the defendant repoed her car and stole $900 out of the glove box. But the defendant says they took nothing. It's the case of I'll be calling the popo over the repo. Thank you, Douglas. All right, Ms. Simmons, you are suing the defendant tow company. And we're just going to refer to your side as Daryl. You're the owner? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For $5,000 that you say you are out, 900 of it that you say they stole, and 4100 for four days of work yes. that you lost pursuing this. Tell me about that. Well, I had my car was repossessed out my driveway. Why was your car repossessed? Because I was late on two payments of my that car note. you hadn't paid car payments in two months? Two months. How much is your car note? It's five ninety eight. Okay. What do you do for a living? I work for the post office. And How are you making $1,000 a day for the post office? Huh? You heard me. How do you make $1,000 a day? You say lost wages for four days of work, $4,100. How do you make $1,000 a day? No, I don't. But right. the, the thing is, is that I missed three, four days from work. So I'm putting that in towards the Right, but what you would get if you missed three or four days, four day, well, now it's three or four. But if you missed three or four, you would get what you would be paid if you worked, because you missed it. Well, why would you sue for 4100 for four days? Because I have two jobs, miss. Let me see the proof that you brought. So you're just the tow company? Yeah. You got ordered to tow it from the bank? Yeah, we have, an, we have a, a contract with the banks to, you know, scan cars. We have camera systems. We scan the cars. If it pops up that that car owes money to the bank. So what do you do? You just go around with a scanner driving down yeah, the street? Yeah, we have cameras on our tow trucks. All right, so they take your car and what happens? Okay, <clears throat> then I, I called the police, my local precinct, because I had went that I had went to the bank. I have a copy of that also, of the receipt of the money that I took out the bank, <clears throat> and then I took the money out the bank and I had it in the um the armrest in my car in the middle between the driver's side and the passenger side. The little why didn't you have it in your purse? Because I had went inside to get my son ready because I was taking him with me to go pay the. Yeah, but why would the money that came out of the bank not be in your purse? Why would you leave it in a car that's about to get repossessed? I didn't know that. I, well, was... how do you not know that? You know that you're behind two months. You know you were a ticking time bomb. And the, the same day that the, the the same day that my car had got towed, I had got the money out my um the bank. I had the receipt. I saw the receipt. That doesn't tell me that you left the money in the the car that got towed and that they stole it. That tells me that you took the money out that day. Who's the person who actually towed the car? He is not available right now. What, what does that mean? I don't like He's his He's a tone. driver. He goes home. He what? He's a driver, regular driver. So what? Why would he not be available to come here? Um. <laughs> well. Maybe you could say it a little nicer. He's not available. <laughs> well, well, the driver is available, just but... doing his job at that point yeah. and making sure. I, I understand. That's the guy who would have stolen the money. Why would you not bring me that guy? Well, they don't technically enter the vehicle if there's no key. And it was an, a Nissan Altima front wheel drive. He wouldn't have need to enter it. He's in a tow truck like a wrecker, so he can just back right up, hook up the wheels, and be on his way to the precinct to log it in. Who opens her car? Um, well, because I know you guys opened her I car don't because open she the had truck. other belongings. Yeah. Right. Well, I did the inventory. How did you do an inventory if there was a locked car? Um, we're a towing company. We have equipment. Like what? To um, Slim Jim. Yeah, and I went in, I wrote down everything. They expressed to me that they're missing something. Um, What'd they say they were missing? They were missing money. Okay. 
So from there, um, I don't believe she came back up to the window. Her boyfriend came back up and he wasn't very nice, which, you know, I mean, if he says he's missing something, I can understand, but he was, <clears throat> his whole demeanor was just off. How? So off that, like, I felt threatened. Why? I felt threatened where I really- What did he say? What did he do? He said, who went in my car? Um, I want to know right now who went in my car. And honestly, if I were to even speak to him, it just, I don't feel like it would have processed in his brain, like how mad he was. Okay. And then I did pull up, um, I went on, um, we keep everything online. I went on and um, I saw his name, no man's name was on the account. So at that point I said, listen, I cannot speak to you anymore. Um, if the debitor wants to come back up, I will speak to her and we can discuss what we can do to help. Okay. You and know. then did she come up? Um, not right away. Um, she but did. But when she does, what did and you then, discuss to help? I don't even know what um, that means. Uh -huh. We can make a statement back to the bank and let them know what's going on. Saying and then, what? Uh, she says we, we took our money. That she, claiming that. So now everything's pulled up when we recover the vehicle. Property um, is written down. We take pictures, condition report, all that. So you it's take all pictures. Uh, stop a second. You take pictures as you are taking things out of a vehicle. Um, if I find something that's worth value, I will take it out. I will take a picture. I will lay it out. If there's money, I will have a picture of that. I will write down. Do you exactly have any, how many, any proof of any cases where you guys have returned money to people? Um, we've never been accused of stealing money. So um, do people, do you usually find money in these cars? Um, if there's money, what we find in there, we, um, we say what you'd be surprised what you find in there. <laughs> What's, uh, do you find money? <laughs> Yes, and if we find money, we um, we actually put it in another envelope. We put the, the last six of the VIN and we lock it up. All right, let me <laughs> ask you um, something. You have a I lawsuit for $900 that you say you just got out of the bank. Yes. You also oh, are suing for $4,100 in lost wages. How are you going to prove to me that your lost wages are $4,100? It's not actually 4,000 and 4,100, but it's the the pain and the stress, the measles and time from work from both jobs. Yeah, but jobs why did you suppose? Why do you suppose you lost time from work? Because I didn't get paid from those days. Because I couldn't get Cause my you, car. Because you didn't get a car. Is that his fault that you didn't have a car? I didn't speak to her. That's not the lady I spoke to. She was not there that day. Oh. I have a video of you speaking to her. Hmm. That is her. Maybe she looks. Maybe she cleaned up for court. Maybe she looks prettier now. I don't know. But, but it was another lady that I was. It was another lady that was mainly the person I was. Speaking okay, come on to. up. Did you want to address me? Can I? I can yeah, I yeah. Of course, of course. You this, were there, right? Yeah, for <laughs> everything. For okay. everything. Now, she, what she she said she said this stuff about this money, right? Where we had the money, at, it was inside the armrest right there. Now, mind you, she says they they take the money and put it in envelopes. They take all of the change out of there, all of the change. I'm talking about a whole bunch of quarters and nickels, and it was a lot of it real <coughs> packed in there. Where that was at? You got all, that back, right? With the yeah. change. Yeah. Now yeah. this is this is the same place where the where her wallet was at, and where we uh, where we had the money at, right there. So how is all of the change getting dug out of there? <laughs> but y'all miss, but somehow that that money is missing. Did you ever get the and car then, back? Yes, did? I did. I got it on that Monday, following that Monday. And I was the one talking to her. We kept trying to talk to her. Of course, somebody's going to be mad. I wasn't like going crazy or nothing. I'm, I'm mad about the situation because the money is missing. And then she, what she kept trying to do is lock us off. Like, <laughs> get away from here. Get out of here. That's what she kept doing. So my step, my next step, my next step was to call the police. I called the police over there to let them know what's going on. Somebody, need, somebody here needs to be arrested because there was money stolen out this car. She's not the one that bought us our property. It was um, it was a uh, um. We got a picture. One a picture of the of guys, the guy one of the guys that was working there. Then you have a short guy, Spanish short guy. He's the one that was bringing all of this stuff from out the car to us. So it's either him or him. Which which one is it? It's not her that took the stuff out the car. Even when How we got there. How do you know there, it's not her who took the stuff out of the because car? Because we watched the guy take the stuff out the car. This um Spanish short dude. Even when we came, <laughs> even even when we came, the um our trunk was already open and the car doors was already open. Now what she's saying is that nobody there did it. She kept trying to just send us away. <coughs> Let me see. Soft, I'm gonna close, see that. And, and close the um the thing. You are being recorded and everything. Is being reported. Okay. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm gonna close the door on. Yo. 
definitely is. Why do I got to be white? Maybe I'm Hispanic. How do you what? know? What was that? Whoa. He, he, made he, racist, he made a racist remark to her and what the What was it he said? Oh my God. me a white. You did oh. not hear that. You could rewind it back and hear what I said. You didn't what hear What did you no, say? I don't even remember that day. It wasn't, it wasn't, I don't make racist remarks, though. It wasn't nothing Stop, stop. I can't hear her if you're talking. Hold on. Sure, Sorry, I'm going to close the window. You are being recorded, and everything you say is being recorded. Oh, thank you. Okay? I'm, 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 I'm going to close the window. I'm going to close the window. Oh, that was her, not him. Be white. Maybe I'm Hispanic. Right. He didn't call you, uh, oh, that. Yeah, I apologize. Didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was so like. Ah, folks, folks, folks. Now, he says that he watched another guy inventory that car, that you didn't do it. Um, he might have saw them bringing it's the bag out of the car, which oh. I bagged. Did, did you did you see another guy bringing the bag yes. out? That's and if she did bag. go in there, that means that um, she went in there before they went in there, so she took the money. Yeah. Which exactly why I was going to say if, I did the inventory because, and have I'm, your talk. I'm sorry, did he just say <laughs> she took the money? Yeah. So does it make sense that somebody would put $900 in a glove box in cash, especially when they were behind in their car payments and the car could get repoed? Absolutely. They might have forgotten to put it there. They might be hiding it there. Lots of reasons people- $900? That just doesn't make sense to me. No. Sir? That's a different uh, economic level. I, I never have 900 in my wallet. <laughs> okay, fair point. Fair point, I'm going inside the courtroom. He got his property and just left. Didn't pay for it. There was, there was a well, What do you mean pay for it? Why would he pay for it? When his we property? bag up stuff and, and we inventory stuff, well, she inventory, there's a fee for that. Are you kidding me? You don't me? just get yes. the property back for free. You have to pay. Why? You have to pay for that. And it's That's not how it works the board. for a bank. How much it's, do people have to pay case. to get their own property back? It's, what was it, 175 175 Are you kidding me? Is no. that your counterclaim? Uh -huh. Yeah. Why were you closing the window instead of saying you owe us the Or why was it being handed over before the payment was made if there's some payment? I think um, she was scared. Okay. On your counterclaim against her, zero. I don't even know how you can collect that. It sounds like a ransom. Now, this lost wages, you have absolutely no proof on the lost wages. You have a picture of, a, a, of one day of missing work, which is because your car got towed. It's not because of anything that happened there. Um, so you're not entitled to any lost wages. So we're down to that $900. Okay. And that's where we are, really. And it kind of sickens me because you don't sound like liars making the whole thing up. I believe that you believe that they stole your money. I believe that. You know, look, for a criminal case, you have to be able to prove that it's beyond and to the exclusion of every reasonable doubt that that side committed a crime. This isn't a criminal case, it's a civil case. But you still have to prove something. You have to prove that by a preponderance of the evidence that that company stole your money. You know that all I've got is you angry. I can't look at them and say you're thieves based on the evidence that you're presenting me. I am gonna find in favor of the defendants and your lawsuit against them. On their lawsuit against you, I'm finding in your favor. That's my verdict. Thank you. So the plaintiff doesn't have the proof she needs to win her case. I'm sorry, Ms. Simmons, but the judges did not file in your favor. I just find know. this wrong because they know they took the money and it's, I don't believe that happened because they knew they took the money out of my car and if they're going to get what they deserve, this karma is going to, karma is going to give them because they knew they took the money outside my car. That's I it. feel sorry for you because I believe you, but... You know, unfortunately, you didn't have the proof you needed, okay? Sorry about that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. you must sign some documents outside. You may go. Weather, go right. <laughs> All right, Daryl, if you'll come out now. The judge really found a problem with you charging 175 bucks to get personal property back. Yeah, that's small. Um, it's all about the toes. You know that, right? Yeah, but but that does seem a little excessive. Yeah, it's yeah. excessive. It seems excessive, but it's not. We, we, we have to go through their cars. I know. We have to take I their know. dirty underwear out of there. We have yeah. to take their dirty and socks, their, their clothes, everything. And at the end of the day, they ended up not paying for it anyway. It's a nasty yeah. job, but somebody's so. got to do it. All righty, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, Harvey. Now, this is a, a, a lesson that everybody should really listen to if you have a car. 
Do not leave valuables in that car. You go to the car wash, you leave it with a valet, somebody breaks in. If you have something valuable, it is almost impossible to prove it if you want to end up suing.